Hey guys, how are you doing? I have four minutes before Shabbat. So I decided to take this wonderful time to tell you something real. You know, I uh, saw that the sparrow, you know, my name is Dror. Dror means sparrow. So there is a certain kind of sparrows that their name is real sparrows. So I think I'm not a sparrow. I think I'm a real sparrow. I, uh, so as a real sparrow, I wanted to tell you something that really there is a thing in the world that people are all, all, all surrounded with fears and anxieties from other people's opinion, what people will think about them, what people will tell about them, will say about them, how people will react to who you are, to who you choose to be. Now, I came to this very deep understanding that I must fight against this dark cloud of fear that is surrounding all human race and all human beings. Because really it's so much not fair that people will decide for you who you should be. and how you should act and how you should behave and how you should dress and how you should talk and which things you should do and shouldn't do. It's like human rights, like the basic basic of, of human rights is that people will have their own freedom to choose by themselves. Now, about religion and all this topic that we are surrounded by because because of our simple faith in the Creator and that we want to keep the rules of Torah but we don't want to be terrified and terrorized by people that are telling us what to do and I think that it's the will of Hashem with all my heart I'm telling you that that it's the will of Hashem that we will fight against that way of putting fear into our hearts and closing us under under other people's understandings we must stand up for ourselves and to keep the rules of Torah and all words of Chachamim the real righteous ones of all generations because we want to not because we're afraid not to because that our heart is pushing us forward to keep and to be as much observant and strong and powerful as we can but not because we're afraid and the verse is saying Lota guru mipne ish. you're not allowed to be scared of no man no man should be above you no man should control you no man should abuse you and force you terrorize you terrify you disrespect you dis dishonor you make you feel ashamed make you feel bad with yourself make you feel that you're worthless that you're hopeless that you're not important if there is a person that is standing in a certain position and from that position he tries to be above you and to push you down this is a way of the evil inclination to bring darkness to the world, to bring fear into the hearts of people and to destroy their inner simple happiness and self-confidence. And I'm fighting against that. And I'm going to fight till we will win this war completely. And we're not going to back off. And I'm inviting you to join me, calling you and blessing you to have that courage not to be scared of people, to have complete fear from heaven, to be a real Yireh Shamaim, to have real Yirat Shamaim, never to move from words of the Creator, never to move from the truth, never to move from being good, never to move from being kind and sensitive, and never to move from every, every rule and obligation that the Torah is telling you to do, but you should keep it with the power that you have. The Torah been given to us to keep it and to live while keeping it. Torah Chaim, Torah of life, 
that we'll be happy and that we will understand ourselves and we'll have the ability to forgive ourselves and to accept ourselves and to grow and not to be miserable and, 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 and under stress and sorrow and pain and confusions. So then don't let no one, please don't let no one terrorize you and terrify you. Be strong and for yourself do that, for your children, for your siblings, for your surroundings, for everyone. Be strong to be honest and to be pure. And you should know that if you're good and if you're kind and if you're sensitive, the Creator is with you. If you feel successful and if you feel that you're down, you should know that the Creator is with you. And you are on the peak of His crown, in the highest place, in the deepest place of His heart. The Creator loves honesty. He loves sensitivity. He loves good actions and pure intentions. And if you find yourself that you are good and sensitive, you should know that the Creator, He loves you. And I love you too. And may the Creator bless us all together from heaven. Always that we will have our high self-esteem. That we will accept ourselves and know that we are on a mission. And in that mission we should fight and we should rock and we will succeed. And we're in it to win it. Please help us to share the videos to post them to the wide world that everyone will know Hashem, the real Hashem, not the fake Hashem that is being been advertised all over the place. People are calling themselves servants of Hashem, people making making up stories and making other people think that they are messengers of Hashem and they're just phonies and liars and 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 and, and evil even liars pretending to be something that they have to possess something that they don't have you know who we are we're the soul of the first man and we're the soul of his wife Eve we are the souls of Adam Rishon and Eve his wife Chava Imenu we are their souls and we are the children of the Creator and we're going toward him with a happy heart and a wishing soul and I wish you all Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat of happiness, Shabbat of glory, an uplifting Shabbat, a beautiful Shabbat, Shabbat of grace and harmony, love and satisfaction, Shabbat of growth and divine, divine spiritual development to us all together as one. Amen. Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.